um, God, today is uh, the first uh, primaries. Uh, we've got the Iowa caucuses going on today uh, in uh, uh, maybe the coldest weather they've ever had a caucus in. I mean, Iowa is always cold in January, but uh, this week is, is particularly cold. So uh, you're going to have freezing, freezing cold. Caucuses are these weird things where people get together, and discuss, and then vote. Uh, not typical primaries. Uh, in this weather, to go out of your house, to get together, to spend time, to discuss politics, to vote, is going to require, require a, a lot of uh, commitment, a lot of passion. I think the, the, the result of tonight's caucus is a pretty well understood. Uh, Donald Trump will run away with it. I mean, by a big margin, he will lose. Uh, Haley and DeSantis will be way back, maybe by 30 points. Uh, they'll be close to one another, whether Haley beats out uh, DeSantis as the last poll showed or whether DeSantis beats Haley as is more likely, given that Haley's, uh, Haley's supporters are the least committed supporters, so least likely to brave the weather and go out. Um, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it probably matters to DeSantis. If he comes in third, he might actually withdraw from the campaign. He might, he might throw the towel in. So we will see, right? We will see. But uh, I don't think he will come in third. I actually think that DeSantis uh, will come in second and Haley will be third. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Haley's getting a lot of independence, uh, signing up to the Republican Party to vote for her, um, as well as Democrats, uh, shifting over, which I think is great. It, it again suggests that Haley is probably the candidate that has the biggest chance of actually winning a general election. Uh, and beating uh, beating a Democrat, but it does all of this doesn't matter. The reality is the reality is that Donald Trump has this done. It's a done deal. Donald Trump will win Iowa by a massive margin, the highest margin probably ever. He will probably win New Hampshire, even though there the margin w might be very small. And there's a chance, small chance, that Haley beats him in New Hampshire. But after New Hampshire, he beats Haley in her own state of South Carolina. He probably beats DeSantis in his own state of Florida. I think evidence of that is the fact that um, Marco Rubio, Rubio, one of the people who warned us against Trump, who said Trump was the epitome of evil, was going to destroy this country, has endorsed Trump, as did Mike Lee, two horrible senators. Um, who uh, are betraying the Republican Party and sending it down uh, into the abyss. Trump is going to win the nomination. I mean, the only thing that could prevent him is maybe jail. But Iowa Republicans are saying that even if Trump is convicted, they will vote for him. This is, uh, you know, I, I, I've said this so many times, but I'm going to say it again. I, the horror of uh, the Republicans electing Trump as their nominee, it is so disgusting. It is so despicable. It just, it's hard to imagine. Given his behavior, particularly since he lost the election in 2020. But, but, but really, his failure with COVID, utter, complete failure during COVID. His complete, you know, his, his, his lack of any kind of positive character traits. The complete, you know, uh, moronic nature of his statements and his outbursts. And the fact that he was so pathetic on almost every single a foreign policy issue, with the exception of Israel, of all things, that he had. The fact that the Republicans, he's going to win it in a landslide, says so much about the complete and utter bankruptcy of the Republican Party. It says so much about evangelicals. Iowa evangelicals. He will win Iowa. He will get 80% of evangelicals. It's why DeSantis is not doing well. It's because he couldn't capture the evangelicals even though he got the endorsement of the top evangelical in the state and of the governor of the state. Trump just captures the hearts and maybe minds, I think hearts, of the evangelicals throughout the state. Evangelicals. 
who claim to care about character. You remember the days where character mattered? Who claim to be pro-American? Who claim to care about this country? Are willing to hand the reins of power over again to, I think, in terms of certainly character, the worst president we've ever had. Uh, so that, that is the outcome is done. It's finished. Um, and, you know, it, it is a, it is a, 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 a you know, a, a Scott and everybody else will remind me, but, 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 but it's going to be, you know, you have to vote for Trump because the alternative is Biden, but it's not Biden, as I keep reminding you. And yet there you are continuing to vote for Trump in spite of the fact that there are alternatives to Trump right now. And yet the Republican Party cannot give up on Trump. And by not being able to give up on Trump, the Republican Party deserves, in terms of justice, deserves to lose. And this time I hope that Trump, the nominee, loses not by the small margins he lost last time, but I really, really, really hope that this time he loses big. Because only by him losing big Will we ever get rid of this ugly, disgusting, squalid, uh, you know, uh, uh, phenomena that is Trump? The Democrats get justice every time they lose, right? And the Democrats have never nominated anybody who comes close to a Trump. Nobody. Maybe Bernie, but they didn't nominate Bernie.